Greetings and salutations, and welcome back to our Europa Universalis 4 game as Hindustan, which we formed out of Delhi. And right now we are invading Hejaz over some Iraqi territory, as Iraq is our vassal. We have the option of pressing their claims abroad. And they've got cores here. So let's just go ahead and transfer all of this territory over to direct Iraqi control. And as always, if you have questions about this, then feel free to post them in the comment section below. This is intended for newer players, so I won't think any question is dumb, no matter how um, obvious you think the answer might be. For five years ahead of time on military tech, so let's go ahead and get our next quantity idea. Costs a little bit more than it otherwise would because of our corruption, but that's coming down every year. Should take us just four more years to have no corruption at the current rate. And now our army, any troops that we build will be 10% less expensive. And if you reduce the cost of units to build, you also reduce their maintenance. So let's wait a month and see what effect that has on our economy. We've captured this port, so we... Um, ejected their ships, and we did lose a big ship there. I think we lost two, actually. Okay, charity for the poor. Um, it would increase our piety, which suffered a little bit, so we're going to have to do it even though that's going to put us in debt. Is there, is there any way to avoid that? Not that I can see. We'll deal with that after this war. For now, our job is not to fret over spilled ducats. One of these ships is only at half strength, so we're going to let our fleet continue to repair. Yeah, there's a blockade. So we have a choice. We either spend some administrative power to get the people under blockade, the goods that they want, or we let Navanagar suffer a little bit. We're going to go with that. This is just one province. It's not a very good province either. No offense, Navanagar, but you're only five development. It's not a bad province. I mean, I'm happy to have it, but it's not very valuable. Okay, our provinces in. Sorry, our um, merchants in the province of Vanny is down here uh, are complaining about piracy and they're asking for assistance so they want a hundred ducats or they're going to have higher unrest and produce fewer goods uh, again it's just one province you have to worry about the big picture let's get these ships out the sea to beat up on that navy. Oh, those are six big ships. That was actually a mistake. Let's get them back into port as quickly as possible. They should have checked the composition of their navy. That cost us a big ship. But we have taken the capital, or sorry, we've taken this port, opening the way for us to strike the capital of Hajaz. And Balukistan is having another uprising we've driven back those hijazi troops so we'll take advantage of the fact that they're on the run and we have troops in this area oh the rebels forced us out of this port and we lost a couple trade ships
Hey, some of our nobles are arguing that our production methods are flawed, so we can abandon them and lose administrative power. No, we'll lose prestige. Our admin is very valuable to us at the moment. Okay, he is, our general is a hardy warrior, so the troops under him suffer 20% less attrition. That's good. Really good for us. That will spare our manpower pool quite a beating when we're fighting in high attrition areas. Let's just march through here, have this situation dealt with as quickly as possible, even though we're attacking the mountains. Got so many troops, that doesn't matter. And we have defeated the garrison and captured Muscat, forced our surrender. Let's see if we can get Oman to agree to peace. All we want from them is them to break off their alliance with the Ottomans, and we want their money. They have a lot of money. Well, we could take Hormuz from them, too. Wouldn't upset them too much. If we take their fort, we could not. Welcome here, then, Cat. Cat is complaining that it's his feeding time in an hour. So that's too early for me to feed him. Um, but he's already getting mouthy about it. All right. Yeah, we'll just take that one province, force him to break up with the Ottomans, and take their money. So we are going to... Or Hormuz, we're not going to increase the autonomy. Maybe that will throw you out of the den if you keep that up. I'm going to move these troops down to Mecca. They're exiled, so they have to pass through with territory we control first. I'm sorry about cat talking so much. I don't know if you guys can hear it. I assume you can. Let's pay off our loans. Okay, you're about to get kicked out of the den. Choose your next words with care. I'm not going to argue with you about this. Okay, let's get these guys back over to the front. And we're 96% of the way towards... Ooh, lost a general. Let's hire a new one. And he's nice. He's got Pippa Siege, which I think is really important for us. We can win the battles. Now we just need to win the sieges as quickly and painlessly as possible. And generals with Siege... Are good at doing that. Okay, so our trade fleet has been beat up a little bit. Let's get them out protecting trade and the Indus. And let's try to recover some of these losses. So we lost three big ships. Four, let's see. No, we only have three big ships. And, but we do have the money. Let's get some new big ships. We got four. And four more trade ships. Now we have the money that we could start getting some more trade buildings. Let's get them in strategically valuable places. And we could also start building the shipyards that increase the number of ships that we're allowed. So when we build those two, we can add four more trade ships to our fleet once those buildings are done. Of course, we could go over our naval force limit, but the cost of those ships will start rising quickly. Let's work on budding up to Mangyang again. And in a couple years, we can integrate Yarkand into our country. Captured Mecca, which is the capital of Hejaz. And I don't think we need to drag this war out much longer. Let's take their money. They have, uh, no, they have the option of moving their troops through Ottoman land. We can force them to cancel that, but that's not, that's not essential. We're instead going to break them up with 
Oman. We are going to take these four provinces from them. We want 10% of their income for the next 10 years. And we're going to start snatching up this coast. I think that's pretty good. We can force them to give up their cores in Ethiopian territory. And I'm going to do that just in case we ever want to befriend Ethiopia. See our relations with them improved. It was negative 7 before, now it's positive 13. So it went up by 20. One for each core, I believe. And we'll move these trips back over to our own territory because we should be able to invade VJ in four years. We'll move these guys back to Goa. And split them up further from there if we need to. We're not going to bring down this war exhaustion as our as our points are valuable to us, your diplomatic points. We're at peace, we'll just let those points of war exhaustion degrade now that we're at peace. Actually, we can... there is no more Timurids. I was gonna invade them. Uh, we don't have that option. Okay, we have integrated in Baluchistan. And they have a fort here that they're not paying for, so let's just destroy that. They have a fort here in the mountains. I'm going to actually upgrade that because that's on our border with the Ottomans. So that will increase the garrison from 2,000 to 4,000, so it will hold out longer. This is also Mountain Fort. I'm going to get rid of this one. These mountain forts will hold out longer. And remember, the controller of a fort is considered to be the defender. So if the Ottomans move on to a mountain fort, it's easier for us to reject them than if they move on to a fort with less beneficial territory. So eventually I am going to upgrade all three of these forts to protect our western border from the ottoman Tabaristan alliance. That's strange, they hadn't cored Ghazni yet, after all this time. Let's go ahead and give some of this territory to estates if we can. Not really. Give Ghazni, because it's got high manpower. We'll give that to our emirs, so that they treat the autonomy as zero in regards to manpower. And we also inherited Balochistan's army. I'm not sure what they had. Did they have an army? I can't see one. Okay, let's march these guys back. And we do control fort here. I'm not going to increase the autonomy in any of these provinces. If they rise up, these troops in Basra will kill them all. You know, just the way we like it. Violence is a solution to all problems. Okay, now we're no longer over, so why don't we go ahead and get Wang Yang as an ally with the goal of vassalizing them. Right now they won't go for it, but we can get them there. Hey, Jaws has insulted us. <laughs> yes. Let the bitterness flow through you. We draw strength from your butt hurtness. We're just keeping an eye on our states every once in a while to see if we can get anything out of them. And let's try budding up to... Russia a little bit more. Next year we can integrate Yarkans. So let's try improving relations with Ayutthaya. 
and strengthening these ties as well. We're going to proclaim guarantee over Mongeng. We're going to ask for their trade power. We'll get two thirds of it. And if we influence them, it'll cost us 30 ducats, which is equivalent to their yearly income. It'll improve relations by 25 and their trust by 5. That'll make it easier. Okay, VJ has finally embraced that printing press. We've got an alert that Lanjing, Penggu, Shun, and Dali are willing to hire out our army. If we were offering it to them, they would buy some troops from us. We haven't done that yet, uh, and maybe I should at some point just to demonstrate how it works. Um, My worry would be that we would be suffering casualties um, for very little reward. We'll just leave those guys stationed there. And we got three of our four ships complete. Four ships, that is. So we're going to send them with our transport navy. So our navy is back to being as strong as it was, and it will become more powerful. So we can make eight more ships after this, um, but we're losing a little bit of money. Let's check on these trade nodes. So Genoa has over overtaken Lubeck, and Goa remains really rich. Got 20 years, though. Okay, so one of our advisors has disagreed with one of our policies, we could admit that he's right and lose prestige and get some points of some sort, some monarch points for random category, or we could fire this guy, exile him from our court, possibly kill him. No, off of the head, we'd literally kill him. No, we, we're not going to do that. That sounds like a jerk move, and we will have no part of that. Unless, of course, it's in our interest to do so. <laughs> like burning people at the stake for more piety. Sometimes you just have to do it, guys. And we complete our other big ships, so let's send that Carrick to join up with the next, the rest of our navy. If we can get another idea here, another possible advisor. Now we're trying to pick. And we have standard three choices that should add a fourth one. Okay, do we want piety? Of course. Yeah, so the fourth choice was added here. And we can see that there's fourth choice there and there. I'll leave that guy working on improving relations. So close yet so far. Someday we are going to get caught up on diplomatic technology. But some of the stuff is valuable to us. Okay, we could face an uprising here, but we have an army in place. Let's just move it to the fort. We're suffering a little attrition there from being over the supply limit of those provinces, but... We gotta be ready for the rebels. I guess we could split these trips in half. Yeah, let's do that.
Just how big is it going to be? It's going to be 20,000 men. If it pops up in one of these, we can send the troops to merge together. And how long has this video been going on? 20 minutes. We'll try to hold out for another 10 minutes and then um, stop and take a break for quite some time. Royal marriage expired there. Let's get a new one. Okay, so do we hold out for this technology? I think we are going to take this next idea. It makes our land forces 10% cheaper, and we'll guess that trade power boost that we've been hoping to get. And again, every idea that we complete here does make our military tech cheaper. So we can then save up for military tech 15, and by the time we have the points, well, they'll be 2% cheaper for that idea we just picked up, and this ahead of time penalty should go away. Can't imagine that we'll get all these points in the next two years. This thing will take us six. Okay, their loyalty is down to 75, so let's lighten their tax burden once again. And since we're habitually over by one diplomatic relation, I could take this idea of the postal services, um, but I'm not going to because we won't be over by one any longer once I've integrated Yarkand into our country. All right. We could ask the ulama for some money. They would get a little upset and we would lose piety, but we'd get a lot of cash. Or we could gain some prestige, make the ulama like us more, and they will gain some influence. Let's go for that. We want, we want piety, we want prestige. And we're not doing great on money at the moment. But our income is pretty good, and really we're only only making just a little bit of money because we're providing for such a large army, and we're paying for pretty good advisors. And we can invade VJ next year, so I really want to do that. That'll probably be in the next video. Let's get our troops around here and get these guys over here. Actually, it's only 2,000 troops. Those are ships. Yes, we'll want to wipe out their army as quick as possible in the war. Which month can we invade? June. Let's actually keep these guys split up a little bit more. I'm mean, spread across four provinces. They'll merge them together right before we declare the war. You guys wait right there. We're spreading them out to avoid attrition. Because this territory... Oh, actually these guys could sit there. Let's fly them at 40. Okay, so we have found a local expert in fortifications. We could declare that the whole country needs him. He wants to stay in his hometown, but we could hire him as a military advisor. Um, but we already have a military engineer. This, if we let him stay home and just work on his fortifications at home, he would give the province of Markham local defensiveness plus 25. So we'll look at what that does. But we'll let him stay home. Okay, so Markham hopefully has a fort. Yeah, it does. 
Okay, so what does local defensiveness do here? You can see this number. It's a bonus that the province gets to try and resist um, sieges. The higher this number is, the fewer men we will lose. From that garrison as the fort holds out. So the higher local local the fort defense, the better that fort will will function. Yeah, we have a hundred ducats in our treasury. That's kind of nice. But we're going to get rid of this mission to cancel bulk because we don't really want to fight Barasan and the Ottomans right now. Let's mark them as a nation of interest to us so we can see if they do engage in any offensive wars. And if they're really distracted, we could turn on them. A Bengal has become wealthier. We got 17 years to turn that around. Okay, our truce expired, and we got a new trait for our ruler since he's been in power for 25 years. He now gets he's righteous, so he's got bonus to legitimacy every year. That's nice. I approve. Let's call this guy back home and prepare for a confrontation with VJ. Still can't vassalize them. But we'll get that opportunity. Eventually. Probably. Let's wait for the top of the month. And we're going to declare war. Sure. Um, let's just check their capital. Okay, people rose up in Qatar. They have built some fortifications. They built that fort, and they upgraded this fort. Didn't build any down here, though. Let's see how the initial battle goes. Okay. So we found those rebels. They popped up in Qatar. Good night. So let's split up this army. There's three, six, nine provinces. couple of cannons for now onto the fort and we'll provide some additional support as soon as we deal with these troops down here. Real quick, this guy's got a good general. Helping him run around. So I'm going to split this army up if we don't catch him here. Okay, we finally caught them. We're going to send these guys over here. These guys over there. 
as we capture each province, we're going to move the guys onto that other fort. Okay, this shouldn't take long. We've already cracked the walls in their capital. They really have no ability to defend themselves at this point. I mean, I guess rebels could spawn in their country, but, you know, that's... That's the best that they could hope for. And we have captured more provinces. Oh, they have a thousand men. Where did those guys come from? Not entirely certain, but we're going to hunt them down with our 30,000 man army, 32,000 men. Eventually, either we or our subjects will catch them. Well, yeah, our subject is going to catch them right there, and they're killed. Let's send these troops down south. Rival rivals France. Yeah, let's work on befriending France again. I expected to start, you know, end this video um, as war was raging. I didn't think we'd be able to do it in just a matter of minutes, but clearly we can. It is almost full, and we're only 31 minutes into this video. This fort might take a little while. Hopefully not. Okay, so we do need to ship some of these trips down there. 4,000. The infantry, at the very least. One thing that we could do is speed this up. Got all the cannons we need, actually. We're getting the full plus five bonus. We're just blasting on those walls with cannons. And not all those cannons are ours. Yarkand is providing 3,000 cannons and their engineers, however you want to think of it. And we could have eight more trade ships, so let's get those underway. And this fort is about to fall. So let's call our guy back from Russia. And Cat is being very vocal. Don't get fed yet, bud. Sorry about it. Those are the rules. We have a system in place. And I don't care how high your unrest is. <laughs> okay, we could take a hundred worth of overextension worth of provinces for them. We're certainly taking their forts as the top priority. Ah, that's so much. Take this for the sake of pretty borders. That's important. Would these look better? I wasn't asking you, dude. Had is argumentative sometimes. Okay, that's 98% overextension. And the reason why um, this is happening is that they're developing their provinces to try getting institutions to spread to them and to offset the fact that they can't expand outward. Uh, we're going to keep one of these forts. It's a testament to our military prowess. And we're going to send two of the cannons down to that other army. We're just going to start coring this stuff, which does set us back on our plan of getting this last idea. We still got 16 more years, um, we can definitely get 400 points. There's a plague, so do we lose money or 
do we make one of our provinces less valuable? Matwada. Let's see if that's actually a very valuable province to us. It's right here. And it's 14 development, and we do have some cash, so let's let's act like adults and improve our provinces. Come to the aid of our people. Okay, we've got some cash, so we could start developing, we can start building some I can't rebuild that there. Our technology is not good enough, so we can only build it in Iraq, who's got better technology. Okay, and let's get some more trade buildings. And we'll save the rest of the cash. Okay, why are you camped out on our territory trying to give us attrition? So we could support 10,000 more troops. I'm not going to build any new troops at the moment because we will be inheriting the army of the Arcand. And that would put us over our limit if we build any new troops. So. Okay, so we've got 236,000 man armies in southern India suppressing rebels. We've got this army of 32,000 men along the western part of the Persian Gulf, Arabian Peninsula. And it looks like things are going well. I can't really complain about much. I'd really like to get Mong Yang as, as a vassal. I wonder if we could ask anyone to break their alliances with Pegu to beat them up. Not them. I think these alliances have lasted for a while. They're almost willing to do it. Nice 19 reasons. Okay, we could get another military idea here, but again, we want to get this military tech. We can't really afford to fall behind on that one the way we can with the other kinds of technology. Okay, we keep getting notifications that territory up here, Dutch provinces, are defecting to join the Netherlands. I think they keep losing wars and are losing territory. I think Austria keeps beating them up. And then those territories just keep joining into Netherlands again. And we see a huge Protestant League here. Now we can't join because our capital is not in Europe. This is a European conflict. We could get called into the conflict if the war leader on one side or the other was our ally. Yeah, we could see. What do they have going from? Yeah, they got Austria, they're the emperor, that's pretty powerful. They have Netherlands, who generally performs well. They have Lithuania, who's pretty big. The Tuscany's been pretty successful down here in Venice, so they got pretty much all of Northern Italy. They have Aragon here. So basically all of Italy's coming to their assistance. And that's about it. The other side is basically all of Germany. We can see Brandenburg up here and um, some of the other smaller nations within the German region. So basically all of Germany. They have Poland. They have Russia. They have France. They have Castile. Now, Portugal's on this other side, but they're insignificant. Sweden, England, and when you got France, England, Russia, and Poland on one side of the war, plus Germany, 
Sweden. Yeah, they're probably going to win that. Denmark, who's largely insignificant. Yeah, it's a pretty powerful alliance system. Okay, but that doesn't concern us too much. What concerns us is this video has been going on for quite some time, so I'm going to stop, take an extended break, maybe pick it up tomorrow. Thank you for watching. If you've liked this, please consider liking the video and or subscribing to my channel. And you are definitely welcome to post any questions you might have in the comment section. Or comment. Yeah, you're welcome to do that, of course. Thank you for watching.